Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to do division using the abacus tool. So we know that the parts of division is like dividend divided by divisor equal to quotient and remainder. That is what we get. So let's start with one digit dividend divided by one digit divisor. In the Abacus tool, you have to divide it into two parts wherein you're going to place the question and then the answer. That is dividend and the quotient. And in the question part itself, you're going to get the remainder. Now, the dividend is seven. I'm going to take seven in the dividend part. Three, I'll have it in my mind. So I know that I have to divide this number by 3. I have used one rod. So I'm going to consider only one rod in the quotient side also. This is the answer side. I'm going to consider one rod itself. Now the last rod I consider in the quotient part will be the rod where I'll use it here as well. So 3 2s are 6. I know it's 2. I'm considering this rod. This is the last rod. So I'm going to Place my answer here. 3 2s are is 6. I'm going to remove 6 beats. So the answer to this question is 2 is the quotient and 1 is the remainder. If you want to do further to know the decimals, you can still continue this. So this is decimal part. Whatever comes after this answer will be decimal part. So if I take the same 1 here, so it will be 10. It will be 3 3s are 9. Again 1 will be the remainder. Again, it goes on. It will be 2.3333. It will go, go on. Non-terminating. Two dividend, two digit dividend divided by one digit divisor. So I'm going to place this dividend in the dividend side. First clear your tool and place in the dividend side. 24. Now I have to divide this by 8. To divide it by 8, first I will check the first number, which is 2. Now I have two rods I'm going to take two rods here as well. Last rod I consider in the dividend side is the same rod that I'm going to use to place the answer in the quotient side. That is the answer side. 24. 2 is smaller than 8. So I'm going to consider two rods now. 8 3s are is 24. So I'm going, I am have since I've considered both the rods, this is the last rod I'm considering. I know there are two rods here. So I'm going to consider the last rod, this rod. I'm going to place my answer here. 8, 3's are is 24. So the answer to this question is 3. And there's no remainder. 0 remainder. 3 digit dividend divided by 1 digit divisor. We have to place this dividend in the dividend side, which is 8, 24 divided by 9. So I have three rods. I've used three rods here. I'm going to see three rods here as well. The last rod I consider in the dividend part will be the rod I'm going to use to represent my answer. Now I can see that eight is smaller than nine. So I have to consider two rods. I'm going to consider these two rods. It is 82. So we know that nine eights are is 72. Nine nines are is 81. So since I'm considering this as the last rod, my answer will be placed on the second rod. So I have three rod. Uh, it will be placed on the second rod. Nine nines are is 81. Eight and one. Now I know that one is smaller than nine. So I'm going to consider two again. These two. One, four, 14. I can just leave it here. So the answer will be 9090. If I continue this, I'll, I'll get the decimal places here. So the answer will be 90 point something. Or we can just leave it till here. In Abacus, while teaching it to the kids, this should be taught first. They should write the remainder part and they should write the quotient part. So I'm going to do it only till here. The answer will be 90 and the remainder is 14. Two digit dividend, let's take uh, 59 divided by divisor also to be two digits. So let's take 24. Now to deal with two digits divisor, you should know two things. That is the number into one and the number into five. If you know these two things, it is very easy to do a two digit divisor sums. Now, how to do this 
24 into 5 easily. We know that 24 into 1 is 24. So how do we do 24 into 5? It is nothing but we have to divide this number that is 24 divided by 2. So 2 1s are 2 2s are. So that is nothing but now I have 12. When I don't have any remainder, when I don't have any carryover, I'm going to place a 0 there. So it's nothing but 24 into 5 equals 120. So we got it easily. And with practice, we can do this mentally also. So let's consider some other number. If I want to know 59 into 5. Then I'm simply going to divide this 59 by 2. So 2 2s are 4. I have a remainder. 2 9s are is 18. So I have a remainder here. That means I have to add 5 in the end. That is 295. So if I multiply 59 into 5, the answer will be 295. So I hope this is this is a trick that is used for any number which should be multiplied by 5. You have to just Divide the number by 2 and you are going to get the answer. If there is a reminder, you have to add a 5 in the end. If you don't have any reminder or your carryover any, anywhere, then you are going to add a 0 there. Let's try the smallest number that is 2. So 2 into 5. Imagine I don't know the 2 table. So I am going to just divide 2 into half. That is 2 divided by 2. It is 1. So I told you when there is no carryover in, or anything, you have to add a 0 there. Ideally, 2 5s is also 10. Okay, let's try to solve this sum 59 divided by 24 using the abacus tool. The first thing that we need to do is place the number, the dividend part in the dividend part side that is 59. Now we know that we should divide that by 24. The divisor is 24. Now the last rod you consider here in this side of the tool that is the dividend part will be the same rod where you represent the answer in this part the quotient part so you have two numbers consider two rods 24 is smaller than 59 i don't know 24 tables for example so i'm going to consider 24 ones are since i'm considering this rod i'm going to consider 5 9 59 both so my answer will be placed on this rod i'll take 24 ones are i'll minus 24 now I see that it is 35. 35 is still larger than I can still consider both the rods and take 24 ones are is 24. Now I have 11. I can stop here. My answer will be 2 and the reminder is 11. If you want to further continue, you are going to get the decimal places. So I can give the answer to this question as 2 and the, an and the, uh, the remainder is 11. This will be my answer. Three digit number 549 divided by take it like let's take 50, 60 for example. If you take it as 60, I'm going to place 549. 549. When I place 549, I have to first consider the first rod. So 5 is much smaller than 60. 54 is much smaller than 60. So I have to consider all the three rods. So I told you we can easily find out this number into 5. That is nothing but we are going to divide it by 2. That means 60 into 5 will be 300. So I am going to just start doing it. I am going to consider all the 3 rods. That is this is where I am going to end. I am going to place the same thing here. 5 for 60 fives are 300. 3 0 0. Now I'm going to start counting from 60 because I know that 249 is much smaller than 300. So 60 ones are 60. Again 60 ones are 60. Again 60 ones are 60. Again 60 ones are 60. Now I have a number 9 which is smaller than 60. I can stop here. So the answer will be answer to this question is 9. And remainder is 9. If you further do it, you will get the decimal places also.